You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you You'll be like heaven to touch I want to hold you so much Do you recognize this genre of music or have come across this character known as Lo-Fi Girl? Perhaps some of you have listened to it for relaxation or revision purposes without knowing much of the theory and history of lo-fi music. In today's new talk, we will be exploring the genre, lo-fi music and its characteristics. Lo-fi, which stands for low fidelity, is a relatively new music genre in which elements regarded as imperfections of a recording or performance are audible sometimes performed in an aesthetic tone. The aesthetic is actually defined as undesirable in professional contexts, such as misplayed notes, environmental interference, or phonographic imperfections. The small hiss sound in the natural world, degraded audio signals, harmonic distortion, and tape hiss are all features of lo-fi music. Back in the 50s, the phrase lo-fi was commonly used as an abbreviation, meaning low quality. During that decade, youngsters were very inspired to write and record songs at home simply by using amateur, non-professional instruments and gear. Hence, when replaying the tape, there were of course some technical flaws like static, sound distortions, and sound feedback. As for the quote-unquote original creator of lo-fi music, there is no direct answer to it. Some might consider the Austrian-American actor William Berger the originator, as he always used the term lo-fi when he broadcasted his self-recorded music on his television show as the host in 1986, such as the current song playing in the background. Some, on the other hand, may consider the Beach Boys the originator. The Beach Boys, an American rock band formed in the 60s, were the first big artists to use home equipment to make music, which was later popularized in the 80s. Others might even say that Heaven Nightclub created this genre of chill out music in London in 1989. An alternative answer would be that rap was the origin of lo-fi and was popularized by Jamaican-American rapper KRS-One. <laughs> Nonetheless, as the 80s approached, lo-fi no longer meant low-fidelity, bad-quality music, but was the kickstart of a new, warm, and cozy musical genre, inspiring many new underground indie rock artists and bands to create music at home. Well, what about the history of the popular lo-fi girl? The lo-fi girl, or the study girl, was inspired by the character of Shizuku Tsukishima in the Studio Ghibli film Whisper of the Heart. Whisper of the Heart was released in 1995, telling the story of Shizuku, the girl in the picture. She is a Japanese schoolgirl and a literature enthusiast. In this picture, she is in her bedroom in a Tokyo apartment writing poetry. Juan Pablo Mikado from France created the lo-fi girl for the Chilled Cow channel on YouTube. Chilled Cow was created by Dimitri in February of 2017. He decided to make this lo-fi girl the face of his live stream on 19th of March 2018. The lo-fi radio started off doing what it does to this day, providing a platform for chill beats. Today, the lo-fi girl has been seen over 218 million times through internet memes. As a result, there are always at least 20,000 people watching the stream every minute.
Lo-fi beats can be made without expensive equipment. Two more on top so, of the with what do we need? A laptop and the right software can achieve the relaxing effect of lo-fi music. Now, we will guide you through the characteristics and basics of how to make a modern lo-fi beat. First, you will need a digital audio workstation, such as FL Studio or Logic. This allows us to create and edit music, just like how you would edit a video. Lo-fi music uses lots of jazz chords and tones, for example, the 251 chord. And play a piano melody over it. To make it sound like an old record, we can add plugins to the use of virtual studio technology. This allows us to add some cool effects to the music, such as making it sound out of tune by warping the pitch or making it sound like it was played over a telephone. Percussion is also important in lo-fi music. The drum beat in lo-fi music should be simple and played at a low tempo. For example, from the video shown, there's a heavy bass drum sound, which decorates the melody of the music. Then, we can muffle the sound by cutting out the low and high end frequencies from the frequency spectrum. Finally, here comes the fun part. Some sound samples of static noise, feedback, and distortion can be added to make it sound more distinctly lo-fi, even including different background noises, such as a busy market, a gentle breeze, or even a storm. Another trend is to add dialogue from a scene in a movie. Now that you understand the basics behind genuine 100% certified modern jazzy lo-fi beats, it's time to put it to good use. You can use it for revision, for relaxation, or even wake up to it or fall asleep to it. But why do people like listening to lo-fi music so much? Well, for revision purposes, a study claimed that listening to lo-fi can help your brain focus through picking out the subtle different sounds and beats. One survey found that up to 86% of people listening to lo-fi music while working have improved their study habits and productivity. Lo-fi music contributes to some of our daily activities, so sometimes when you feel stressed, try listening to lo-fi music and take a break. We hope you will enjoy exploring new genres of music such as lo-fi and hope you're enjoying PA Week. See you next time! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe!